Okay, good morning everyone. So in today's video I show you a typical day in the life of a teleradiologist. I just came home from the school run, I dropped all my family to the different places and it's now about 8.30 in the morning and I'm about to start my day. So one of the big advantages working as a teleradiologist is actually that I can work from home and you can see here this is my office. I'll give you a little tour here later, hard to see anything with this lightning. But basically, yeah, I work from home and it works quite well. It gives me the flexibility and also because I'm on kind of like my own boss, if you will. In my work setup, I'm very flexible in terms of how I spend my time. So this is my office and you can see there is my hobby desk in the back. This is Jack Marrow, uh, the skeleton that I will be using for my future videos. Then there are my miniatures here. There is my wall, I just wiped everything out, so this is where I typically do some brainstorming and stuff for my uh, work. Then this is my workstation, and you can also see the setup with the soft light or soft box here uh, for the filming of my other YouTube videos and stuff. So just checked my daily calendar here, and luckily for me there are no fixed appointments except one call at 8 p.m. in the evening but I'm ready to basically, you know, organize myself however I please. So what I will start doing typically on a normal morning is going through some emails and stuff, do a little bit of uh, this kind of like work, and then I start reporting in about maybe 20 minutes or 15 minutes, depending on how much email stuff I have to work up, and then I'll give you another update. So I just responded to two emails, basically I sent a quote to a second opinion request about this knee MRI here that I just uh, looked at here for a technical checkup only so just wanted to make sure we are dealing with the original Dicom images of the right person and everything then I sent him the quote because he went under knee surgery and requested our Arista second opinion team for a second opinion and that's what we will provide him with within just one or two days so I do a lot of second opinions from all over the world uh, dedicated to imaging and my specialty is the musculoskeletal system so that's what I occasionally have to do. Now then I also had a second request for a second opinion that I'm dealing right now with and just requested the additional images for the first technical checkup. But now it's actually close to 9 a.m. in the morning and I'm ready to start my reporting day and yeah so that's why the, the light is now off so I don't get macular generation or whatever. So in terms of reporting, I have four main clients today, so different institutions or hospitals, and I'm expecting around 10 MRI uh, for one of these private institutions, then 15 for the second one, then something between maybe 10 or 15 also for uh, another practice, and then around 10 other MR scans for another private practice. So it's four different private practices that I'm reading for today. Um, no hospitals for me today. Yeah, that's the plan. And I'm looking at around 40 to 50 MR scans. And I hope I manage to go through this in a decent amount of time. So let's start. So it's now 12 o'clock. So I, I've been reporting for about three hours. I did, I think it was 16 MR and some radiographs. So that's quite okay. Um, I finished now one of the email lists that I got uh, in reporting. And uh, after lunch, I will start working for one of the other practices before then switching back to the other practice. So just switching back between the different um, institutions that are sending me their studies during the day. And, but now it's time for a little uh, lunch snack. So one of the disadvantages as a teleradiologist is that I actually have to organize my food myself. And sometimes I just order in something with delivery or sometimes, you know, we just have some leftovers from the evening before. We typically cook something for our uh, dinner and then I just can microwave that or I just have a sandwich or something. So that's what I'm having today. So I'm back in my office now, it's now 25 past 12, so 25 minute break. I will now start doing some more emails before I start another reporting session. 
So it's now quarter to 5 p.m. and I was reporting up to this point. I didn't quite finish uh, what I had to do, so I had a couple of phone calls. So I have, what, what do I have, like I think three, three studies left to report, but it's now time to go and get the kids from nursery and school. And then, you know, we have some family time. And then once the kids are sound uh, asleep, then I go back to my office and never finish this. So then I have another like a phone call that is important at 8 p.m. And yeah, we'll see uh, how that goes. Okay, so let's go get the kids. So it's now 10 to 8 p.m. and all the kids and everybody is in bed. And this is when I now have to finish up my day. I have a call in 10 minutes. But in the meantime, I just finish one or two reports that I have left over. I think there are three that I still have to do. Um, I might not even do all of them as I can finish the rest of them tomorrow early morning. That's not a problem. I've got the 24 hours time. But so we'll see how that goes and how much energy I have left after the call. <laughs> so I just finished up one of these reports before the call. I've got four minutes left to prepare. And now I've got a couple of new uh, exams to do so I'm currently at four MR studies left and then one additional second opinion that I have to do so we'll see how much I get done uh, today but hopefully tomorrow is a bit less work and then I can do at least some of it in the morning but we'll see how that goes now the call that I will be having right now is very interesting it's with a uh, marketing agency uh, that's running YouTube ads mainly so I'm trying to kind of like see how I can use and what I can learn from them to see how that fits into my whole teaching endeavor with my virtual MSK fellowship program and so uh, potentially you might see uh, one of my ads in the future here although uh, that's exciting so something new to learn and something I really enjoy uh, on the journey in addition to the teaching side of things is actually learning a lot of new skills and skill sets in terms of marketing and social media etc so but that's that so now i have three minutes left to prepare the call actually which i should do actually and then uh, i'll get back to you after the call so it's me again it's now uh, 10 to 9 p.m in the evening i just had this very interesting call with uh, this marketing agency so i'm very excited, excited to think about this at least uh, so it's, uh, everything sounds very amazing but you know i just need to make sure i'm doing the right decision so i have to do some due diligence first and then you know i decide about that yeah, never, never mind. Um, yeah, so I got these four MR studies now. Um, I feel I've got the energy to do that right now. And I finished it up, should take less than an hour. And then I have to do some additional administrative work, um, uh, check emails, etc. again, and hopefully I will be finished uh, by 10 to 30 or something like that. So it's 20 past nine, so I was a little bit quicker. Uh, not very difficult cases and now I have a little break before I come back up again and finish the rest of it so see you later and so it's now 11 p.m. Um, after finishing all the reports you know I was uh, now just finishing up really with the day going through some emails some administrative task contracts um, replying to fellows uh, just going through stuff for my fellowship where I have to respond to things and push that further um, but yeah I think I've accomplished all the tasks that I had today just going quickly here through the different inboxes yeah I think that all looks very clean yeah so another question you might have is why do I do so much work in the evening or where do I get the energy from so I mean basically the first question why do I, why do, I do it so long I mean First of all, I, I love radiology, I love reporting. Uh, this was uh, not really the standard day. Normally I finish up before picking up the children. It was just that today there were more studies to report than um, usual, I would say. And But then on the other hand, I had a bit less calls during the day, but it's fine. So I finish up it in the evening, although I could do it early morning, but I'd rather have a fresh start tomorrow morning. I don't like having this backlog of studies. Um, that's that so I just finished it up and then all the other stuff that I do like these administrative things and about the fellowship and YouTube and everything that's actually not work for me so I really enjoy doing it so it's my hobby that I uh, really much enjoy so it's quite nice to do this in the evening not every evening during the week obviously but um, at least two evenings a week it's quite busy with this the other weeks are off and yeah and weekend is always off as well but 
as for the teleradiology part, you know, it's quite nice uh, working from home, being able to very, be very flexible, uh, be in charge of my own schedule. I think that's the biggest advantage for me. So whenever I have to pick up the children when they are either sick or whatever, I can just go and do it. So that's amazing. Uh, I can always go to any appointments, um, you know, then I just finish up work in the evening because I'm not bound by any kind of like office hours. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, the other question is in terms of energy, how how do I get the energy? It's a question I get asked frequently because I do all the teleradiology work, I do the fellowship, I do my YouTube channel and all the other projects I'm involved with. So I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, I guess it just comes down to motivation, passion. And yeah, so I think I'm in a good uh, spot in terms of my mindset for these things. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So, yeah, four minutes past 11. So I'm going to shut down the computer now, then downwinding a little bit before I go to sleep. And tomorrow at around 6.30, it's uh, up again. So I hope you enjoyed this day in the life of a teleradiologist, maybe not a typical teleradiologist. But um, yeah, nevertheless, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.